Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a strip plot. A strip plot is just plotting one set of data uh, along one axis. So it's also known as a dot plot. And basically you're just plotting what univariate data, basically just one set of data, and um, using a axis to compare it. You can compare it on a, you can plot it on a horizontal axis or you can plot it on a vertical axis. Right now I'm plotting this on the horizontal axis and it's actually pretty fairly easy to do and I'll show you how to do it. So here I am in a new worksheet. Let me just go ahead and create some numbers. Let's say that uh, these are sales or we're plotting some just some random numbers here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use a random number generator. A random between uh, 10 and 100. Right? And right now it's 51. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably have a set. Let me go drag this down to maybe, I don't know, uh, 200, 239. I'm going to go back up, Control Home to go back up. So let me go ahead and start off first with a, a horizontal um, strip plot. So I'll, this will be my X. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a Y. Basically, all you want to do is I want to have the values of X plotted on uh, horizontally, but the value of y, it's all going to remain constant. So that constant for me is going to be zero. I can put at one, two, and three. It's just going to move uh, that reference up. So y is going to be zero. And I'm going to go ahead and just double click the fill handle down here. It will copy the zero all the way down. I'm going to click outside of my range of data right here before I insert my chart. So I'm going to go under insert, go to insert a scatter chart. So once this is there, we have kind of a blank slate for that. I'm going to go ahead under the scatter chart, under the chart tools, under design, select data. So I'm going to add my data. And the first thing I'm going to add, whoops, let me go ahead and click add. And the first thing I'm going to add, well, I don't need the series name. I'll go ahead and press delete. I'm going to add the series X data, which is here. Click on that. Control shift down arrow will select everything. And my Y data is going to be column B. Let me go ahead and delete that. Let me go back up here to the top. And select this. Control shift the down arrow to select all of that. Click OK. And it will bring me back to the select data source. Click OK. And I have to go back up here because it's selected all at the bottom. And I have my range of data here. Let me go ahead and just make this a little bit bigger. So we have our data. Um, we have our data all in a little strip here. And what I want to do now is I want to kind of get rid of these grid lines. I'm going to select the grid line, press delete, select the vertical grid line here, press delete, and I'm going to compress this uh, plot area down a little bit, down lower, and get rid of these axis labels or uh, this label portion area. Press delete, and I can go ahead and make my chart area smaller. And I pretty much have my strip plot. I can this since this is a random number generator, I can just go ahead and press the F9 key to randomly uh, go through the random numbers between 10 and 100. Now there may be instances where you are highlighting certain portions or a certain data set or a certain piece of data. So what we can do is we want to make everything else uh, go to the background and make one data set go to the foreground. I just need to select uh, one of the markers. It'll select everything and go ahead and right click and fill. And let's make these all uh, gray. And I don't want it to have an outline. All right? And so we may choose one of the data points where we want to highlight. I'm just going to choose any random one here. Select this one. Just select it again. Once we select it once, it'll click everything. Click again, and it'll just pick that one. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to fill that and make that blue. So after I highlighted, or I selected it again, I can right click here and go under format that data point and maybe what I, what I want to do is kind of add some effects to it. Well, maybe I want to have a glow to it. There's different ones you can do here. Uh, maybe I want to have a glow to it. So let me go ahead and choose a glow. Let me choose, maybe I'll choose this glow. Yeah, maybe that's pretty good and go ahead and close that. And now I have my strip plot. And I have a little glow to indicate uh, that particular point which I'm interested in. Uh, I can go ahead and have the random number generated uh, execute again. Press. I'll go ahead and press F9. And you'll notice that uh, wherever this goes, wherever the numbers get generated, regenerated, you'll see that uh, that particular point stays there. So that's how you create a strip plot. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.